It's the corny guy with the corny videos, and I am back once again. And today I want to talk about being curved. If anybody doesn't know what being curved is, is basically being rejected by the person that you like. And I want to tell y'all about the first time that I got curved. So the first time I got curved, it was like back in seventh grade. I had a crush on this girl named Dakota. She was in she was in eighth grade. You know, she was popular. She was a cheerleader. You know, she was pretty and like <clears throat> yeah, you know. Everybody liked Dakota. Everybody wanted to be Dakota's friend and you know Cause she was just all that in the bag of chips. I made it very public that I liked her. All my friends knew, people in the grade below me knew, people in her grade knew. And like, you know, it was just something that I felt like it needed to happen. You no, know, I'm in lunch and um, you know, one of her friends they walk up to me and it was like, Do you like Dakota? Do you like Dakota? I'm good. Yeah. yeah. I f***ing like Coda. And, you know, after that, like, like an hour later, I'm in the hallway, and, you know, one of her friends, they walk up to me, and it was like, Dakota wants to talk to you. I'm like, what the f***? I'm like, why did you, like, what, what is this? What? what? Me? What? Dakota walks up to me, we start talking or whatever. She's like, hey, you know, you're very sweet, yada, yada, yada. And you know, me and her, we started, we exchanged numbers, and you know, yeah, days go by, we're talking, we have good conversations, and I'm like, yo, this is just great, like, I got her number, me and her talking, she said she loved me, yada yada yada, well, I thought that I had a chance with Dakota, and then one day, um, I'm sitting in class, and you know, I had a friend, and his name was Jason, and Jason, he was a f***ing daredevil, he always dared me. And he told me that you better inbox the code when you get home because not that you're a You know, you've been peer pressure and you know, like one of your friends like, you don't do this and you're this. And you're just like, no, I'm not. Like, you dummy. And so I took that chance. I went home and I inboxed the code. This is where it starts to get good, man. Next thing you know, boom, I'm like, you know, baby, baby, you know, I, I love you. I love you so much. But then, you know, she counted back with all hearts. And then she was like, oh, that's so sweet. And you know how on Facebook, you know, like, before you open a message, it always puts, like, the first part of the message. So I seen all hearts and I seen all. I didn't see the other f***ing part. So she puts all these hearts and she's like, oh, you know, you're so sweet. Yeah, yeah, that's so cute. But you're, like, one of the coolest people I ever met. What? Then... On top of that, she says, I have a boyfriend. The, the f f that nigga. Like, I, I was just so upset because, like, all this time, you know, you are telling me, you know, that, you know, I'm so sweet, I'm so cute, and all this, but then you want to turn around and tell me that you got a boyfriend, and I'm like one of the best friends you ever had. Get the f out of here, all that boy. I was just so highly upset, like, how the f are you going to do that? How are you going to do that? The next day, um, Dakota, she walks up to me, she gives me a hug, gives me a kiss on the cheek. I'm like, what the f Like, why? Then she gives, she gives me a kiss on the cheek, and she's like, you know, you're so sweet, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, her f boyfriend comes out of nowhere. Be mindful, I never seen this until she told me that that was her boyfriend. When I seen him walk up, I'm just like, oh, it's just another f***ing dude that I don't know. But then he puts his arm around her and gives her a kiss on the cheek. He's like, hey, babe, hype this shit. Just, 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 just why you don't got her now, huh? Anyways, he puts his arm around her and he's like, you know, hey, babe, ready to go to class? Haha. <laughs> I was just sitting there the whole time. I'm like, where the f*** did you come from, you bitch? I should really buy right now. Like, what's good? Even though I was mad. I held it all in, and I was just like, you know, whatever. Gotta let it go. Gotta let it go. A girl was heartbroken, you know. My heart showed up like a f***ing raisin, and like, I was, I was crushed a little bit. I was a little, je I was a little jealous. I was a little envious. I kind of wished a little death wish had a little. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, you know what, whatever. Whatever. Okay. But here goes a little extra to the story. Three years later, you know, I get a DM on Instagram. 
I look. And who is it? It's Dakota. <laughs> the way for her to cop my damn son. Uh, and I was just so, like, I was just so exhilarated that she be ended because I cut that little. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's where the tables turn. That's what you get from curving me. And <laughs> I still got heat for that little. <laughs> I still ain't forget about that. So yeah, learn from this, ladies and gentlemen. When you're curved by somebody at a young age, it's not the end of the world. Cause guess what? Most likely they will be in your goddamn DMs. Cause you know. Blow it up. So yeah, that's all it is. Um, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Um, um, you know, comment, like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Um, if there's anything you want to talk about, hit me up on Instagram, Twitter. My Instagram is at underscore period the next RK. My Twitter is underscore the next RK. Boom. So yeah, that's all for today, and I'm out.